Welcome to this session on how to run from command line in Catalon Studio. In this session we will look into what, why and how of command line execution. We will learn why is command mode important, how can we run our test in console or command mode both in Mac and Windows and we will also look at some advantages of command mode execution. Let's get started. So why is command line or command mode execution important? So some major features of command line mode are it is very easy to integrate with other systems like continuous integration or if we have to call our command from some other application the runs are faster because there is less memory consumption because there is no dependency on UI and at an enterprise level when there are larger systems involved it is always useful and recommended to have a command line mode of any tool. So any tool which does not have a command line execution, there are so many limitations to implement it at an enterprise level. Now let us see how can we do command or console mode execution in Catalon Studio. Let us start with the prerequisites and the prerequisite is that Java should be installed on your system. So you can check if Java is installed by going to your terminal in case you are on Mac and say Java space hyphen version it should list out your uh, Java version if you are on Windows you can do the same thing you can run the same command on the command line and in case Java is not installed on your system you can go to these tutorials which explain step by step how to install Java on Windows and on Mac I will make the link of these videos available in the description of this video so you can take care of the Java prerequisites on your system and then we have this documentation for command mode execution on Catalon Studio so this is the page you can open this page and you can follow along this tutorial as well let us now start with our Mac and here I am going to my Catalon Studio and once you are inside your project you can go to this toolbar and here you can see build CMD option so this is the command builder click here and it will generate this window and from here we can select the option so the first one is we have to select the test suite so uh, one other thing is command line execution is available only for test suite and test suite collection it is not available for test case so here you can select the test suite for which you want to generate your command you can select the browser on which you want to run it and then you can select the output location for reports let us keep it as it is and you can specify the email recipients and you can specify display log on console and then the retry count and now you can click the generate command button so this will generate our command so now let me just copy this command I'm copying it from here and now let me just go to my terminal and I will go to my applications folder so you have to go to the folder wherever your Catalon Studio is installed and on Mac by default it goes to applications and now I will just paste the same command here and start the execution and you can see it is starting the execution of our test suite and yes it is running our test our test suite one on Chrome browser and you can also see these actions being performed so th this was a test case that we had and it is doing all these actions and then it will be sending out the email so it will be sending out the email okay so this is how you execute from command line on a Mac let us now go to our windows and see the same thing so now I'm going to my windows and it is the same thing you have to go to your build CMD command line generator and here you will select the test suite and select the browser the reports folder and if you want to send to send any mail recipient display console log and then generate command so again this command is generated I will just copy it and now again I will go to my command line in 
windows so i am going to my command line and i have to go to the location where my catalon studio is installed or located so in my case i have just kept it inside my downloads so i will copy this location and here i will change the path okay and now i have to just run the same command that was generated here so i will copy it from here and then paste it here and run it and now you can see it is again starting our execution on catalon studio so it is running on chrome and yes we can see the logs there it's starting the chrome browser and running our same test case and again we can see all the logs coming on the console here right so this is how you do on windows let us look at some of the advantages of command line execution so the very first advantage is faster runs because there is no ui involved there is less memory consumption so our runs are faster you can auto schedule it because you have command you can create a bat file or you can create a dot sh file and then you can auto schedule these uh, bat files or sh files to run at some particular time you can do parallel executions although in catalon studio you can create test suite collections and run your test suites in parallel and we have already seen this in our earlier sessions but still when you want to have multiple uh, different test suites you can create multiple commands and then run them in parallel again very important integration with other processes like the continuous integration system there is no need to open the GUI you can directly run the command and then you can configure your parameters directly through a command or through a properties file let us look at some useful tips so in console mode operation you can also use a properties file so that all the parameters that we were giving in the command we can put them in a properties file and use them from there you can also go to the documentation page and if you go down they have given the information about how to use this property file so let us go to our catalon studio and you have this command here generate property file if you click this one it will ask you the location where you want to save it and then you can just save it and let us go to this location and let us look at our properties file so this is our properties file and it is giving all those param parameters that we were giving in the command line and now in the command line you have to just say minus pro properties the location of the property file and minus run mode equals console let us do a very quick recap today we learned about command mode execution why do we need it and how do we run our tests from our command line execution in catalog studio